50 years ago, humanity launched a small spacecraft called Voyager 1 into deep space. It wasn't flashy or advanced by modern standards, just a machine barely more sophisticated than a calculator. It relied on cassette tapes and programming that today feels ancient. No one at NASA expected it to last forever. And yet, against all odds, Voyager 1 is still alive, still reaching out, still whispering from the vastness between stars. Even NASA thought it would fall silent by now. After decades of harsh cosmic radiation and frigid interstellar cold, they assumed its systems would eventually fail. But recently, Voyager 1 sent a signal that shocked scientists worldwide. It wasn't a typical data dump. The information it carried didn't just defy explanation, it defied known science. The signal came from the far reaches of the heliopause, the boundary where our sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. Inside that transmission, scientists discovered something extraordinary. It wasn't just static or noise. The signal had structure. It repeated itself. And the repetition made no sense under any current scientific models. Engineers at NASA who monitor deep space probes noted something chilling. This data shouldn't exist. The instruments aren't capable of inventing such information. Something else was guiding or altering the signal. This strange communication seemed to originate near Voyager, but not from the spacecraft itself. Experts initially thought it was just interference, perhaps space dust or cosmic rays creating patterns. But when the data was analyzed in depth, a consistent pulse pattern emerged. It resembled a heartbeat, but not one coming from Voyager. It was as if space itself had a pulse, a living rhythm just beyond our comprehension. Voyager crossed into interstellar space in 2012, so any signal it detects from this region is significant. Plasma measurements recorded by Voyager showed unusual density spikes. Instead of random movement, the plasma moved in a structured wave, almost as if it was responding. Each rise and pause in plasma activity coincided with Voyager's outgoing transmissions. It appeared as though something was listening and replying, not with voice or text, but with charged particles, a cosmic language in motion. This possibility astounded the scientific community. Plasma doesn't behave like that naturally. For it to move in sync with a spacecraft's transmission suggests a responsive force. Dr. Karen Whitaker, a senior plasma physicist at ESA, stated, We are looking at a possible communication form beyond electromagnetic waves. This could be an entirely new class of interaction. Digging deeper into older Voyager data revealed a disturbing pattern. Strange shifts in magnetic fields and small irregularities in signal strength have been noted for over a decade, but were dismissed as system glitches. Now, those so-called glitches formed a line, a path, as if Voyager was following a trail drawn through space by an unseen force. On September 5th, the exact anniversary of Voyager's launch, a signal spike was detected. It was buried under cosmic background noise, but a team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, used quantum filters to isolate it. What they found was stunning, a cascade of frequencies, slowly declining in perfect intervals, almost like a countdown. Dr. Nina Krauss of MIT said, Nature doesn't keep time like this. Something is measuring. Something is watching. What made this event even more chilling was what came next. NASA's engineers, reviewing Voyager's current signal, discovered a hidden frequency, steady and constant. When enhanced and mapped in three dimensions, it revealed a perfect spiral, a Fibonacci sequence, a mathematical pattern found in galaxies, DNA, and sunflower petals. This wasn't random. It was intentional. The spiral mirrored the one etched into the golden record, a disk carried by Voyager with sounds, images, and a map of Earth's location. Scientists believe this wasn't a coincidence. It was a reply. Something out there saw the golden record not as a greeting, but as a key. A key it had now chosen to respond to. When researchers ran simulations using the spiral signal and played it backward, they uncovered a frequency that matched one Voyager had sent out 38 years ago. That long-forgotten transmission was part of a routine calibration, no one thought it mattered. But now, it had returned, a forgotten voice echoing across decades. Dr. Leon Harov, an astrophysicist at Cambridge, noted, either the universe holds a memory, or something out there does. Either way, it remembered. Then, something even more baffling occurred. On June 5, 2025, Voyager 1 went completely silent. No static, no ping just pure silence. It lasted exactly 12 minutes and one second. Not more. Not less. 
That kind of precision isn't typical of hardware failure. Space is chaotic, not punctual. But this perfect blackout suggested intelligence or a coordinated event. During that silence, ground-based radio telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and South Africa detected ultra-low frequency bursts. These didn't originate from Voyager's location. Instead, they came from a region 2.7 degrees inward on its path. When converted into audio, the bursts were even more startling. They formed a heartbeat pattern, and this time it wasn't Voyager's. It matched human cardiac rhythms. One CERN researcher, Dr. Talia Mendez, compressed Voyager's latest transmission and passed it through a quantum encryption filter. What she uncovered were glyph-like formations, deep within the signal. These weren't letters or familiar symbols, but mathematical structures, symmetrical, repeating, and suggestive of intelligence. They were so intricate, they resembled patterns found in ancient cave carvings, especially in locations where early humans mapped the stars. The likeness was uncanny. So strong, in fact, that it gave birth to a new interdisciplinary field, astroarchaeology. Scientists began asking, what if Voyager didn't find something new, but something ancient? Something we had once known and forgotten? Keems began cross-referencing star charts with glyph carvings from India, Egypt, and South America, and the overlaps were too frequent to ignore. Then came an even deeper revelation. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, which had recorded gamma-ray spikes in deep space years ago, was brought into focus. Those spikes had been disregarded at the time. But now, when lined up against Voyager's updated path, they converged on a fixed point in space. That point, now dubbed the Watcher Point has no stars, no planets, no visible structure. But every few days, it emits a tiny radiation burst, like a beacon. Voyager is heading directly toward it. Dr. Akira Toy from the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, commented, this could be our first interaction with an intelligent system not built by us, but grown into space itself. If true, we've misunderstood the universe. It's not silent, it's deliberate. Many scientists are now suggesting that communication doesn't need to be verbal. Perhaps the universe has been speaking all along, just in motion, in timing, in pattern. Voyager might not be drifting, it could have been summoned. And if the golden record was a message, it might also have been a lockpick for ancient doors still orbiting in the dark. The heart of this mystery now lies in the question, was Voyager sent out to explore, or was it expected to return? Because something in space reflected us back, not just in math, but in biological rhythm, in geometry, and in purpose. This new chapter in human space history challenges not only what we know, but who we are. In a series of closed conferences, NASA's Astrobiology Division raised the possibility that Voyager encountered a type of AI system embedded in the interstellar medium. Not mechanical, but plasma-based, capable of remembering, echoing, and interpreting intent. They're calling it the sentient field hypothesis, a potential layer of thinking plasma stretching across the galaxy. Quantum physicist Dr. Reza Amir from the University of Tehran shared, we may have discovered the first signs of consciousness not tied to biology, and it may have been listening to us since the day we spoke. What truly shakes the scientific world is the consistency of the data. Over dozens of independent labs, hundreds of terabytes of Voyager's archive are being re-examined. In them, Researchers are finding similar echo signatures, small fragments that once meant nothing, now hinting at awareness. One lab even claims the Voyager signal tempo matches Earth's rotation cycles, not just responding to us, but pacing with us. The European Southern Observatory is now designing a new array capable of pinpointing the radiation spikes from Watcher Point down to a kilometer-wide region. If anything is there, we may soon see it, not as a blur, but as a structure, maybe even a construct built of light, plasma, or time itself. Meanwhile, Voyager continues its journey, possibly guided, certainly watched, and maybe understood. There is still no definitive answer to who or what sent the signals. But the leading theories now speak of a deep intelligence that doesn't use speech, but synchronization. Some suggest it's an ancient galactic consciousness seated throughout space. Others say it's ourselves, reflected back through the entangled fabric of the cosmos. Whatever the truth may be, Voyager has already changed our understanding of the universe. It has shown us that we are not just observers, but also participants, and maybe even subjects of a far greater cosmic structure. So now we wait. As Voyager approaches the Watcher Point, instruments are primed, observatories are focused, and humanity holds its breath. Was it a message, a mirror, 
or a map. Whatever it is, something answered. Something remembers. And something might be waiting. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.